I think where the technologies really come into play are with the larger classrooms where it's hard to have those discussions. One particular example, we use this software called Ubiquitous Presenter. I can put a question up on the screen that asks for more detail, more thought from the students. With the Ubiquitous Presenter, you have to come up with your own answer. And that forces you to think further, forces you to talk to your classmates next to you, rather than just um, click a button. It made a class of about 60 people feel much smaller, and I think overall it just made it much easier to participate and it was just more comfortable to, to work in the class. In my Introduction to Neuroscience class, we use Wikipedia, so the students will edit Wikipedia stubs. By the end of the semester, we had developed a page into this really long and well referenced and cited encyclopedia style article that allowed us to actually make a contribution to the website. I use a technology called LawMeets, which is a web based system that creates a simulated client experiences for students. So you see a five minute video of a client problem, and the client says, Geez, what should I do about this or what should I do about that? And then students can take their time, think about their responses, and then they then upload a video response to the client to answer the client's problems. So and that was very interesting because after, after the whole process finished, we were able to, to watch all the videos of all the students and then an expert advice, so that was a very interesting thing that I, I personally have never seen before. Being able to see yourself or your classmates is a, a huge thing, and I mean, you always learn from other people around you, um, but being able to do that while you're in law school, I think, is very useful. I used a software called the Virtual Child that actually allowed the students to raise a child from birth all the way through to sending them off to college. And they got to make parenting decisions and see the results of their parenting decisions. We learn how to raise our own child and also to experience how does it feel to, to name your own child, how does it feel to celebrate the first birthday, how does it feel when your child is not reading or how does it feel when your child is having difficulty in school. So all those situations that the parents face in real life, uh, as students we get to um, deal with it. She got to see what exactly she was talking about. So I think that helped all the students in my class learn exactly what she was trying to get across. I think it really helped the students understand the concepts because it made them real and applicable and meaningful. Well, over the years I have seen increased numbers of students who are English language learners, students who are new to the country, students who perhaps have learning disability. And what technology allows me to do is to help these students access the content because the technology allows me to support them in accessing it. From an international student perspective, I can watch the video again and she will explain word by word in her video. I think the video captured the moment and that helped me to understand. I felt like my education and my learning was at the forefront and she was using these technological mediums to really help me as a student, whether it's by giving me access from any computer I wanted to access the cloud version of um, SPSS, to be able to rewatch lectures if I didn't understand something, and again, just as so she was always checking in with us using technology. Technology as a teaching strategy can encourage more collaborative work. And one of the most exciting things for me about this kind of teaching is that it gives students the possibility of acquiring information, insights, and knowledge about subjects that I as a professor may not have explored. Example of how he's used technology in his teaching is in the last chapters of Boston's Literary History exhibit that we did. So you have old and forgotten, you know, artifacts and books that nobody really knows about and then you're melding it with things like QR codes and a website and a really comprehensive digital collection that he's now made. One of the most exciting things um, about our exhibit was probably the introduction of the QR code to each of the cases, which is a piece of technology where people can use their smartphone, take a picture of it, and it will actually link them to our online website. So this allowed people who were visiting, who were maybe more curious, to get access to the resources. If you walk through the exhibit and you have a smartphone of any kind, you can follow through, you can listen to recordings that we, the members of our class, recorded and put on the website. Teaching students how to research is 
a key element of learning at Boston College and I think teaching that can really help students and can really make whatever projects they're doing so much more interesting and so much better. This year, a special Teaching with New Media Award goes to the Academic Technology Innovation Grant Program. The Academic Technology Innovation Grants. Since 2007, the university has been awarding Academic Technology Innovation Grants to foster innovation in teaching and research with technology at Boston College. This year, the Academic Technology Innovation Grants are recognized for their vital role in supporting Teaching with New Media Award winners who have developed innovative instructional projects. The following are examples from over the years. Virtual reality simulation models for teaching nursing. 3D modeling for visualizing complex molecules. A social networking site where youth engage in global outreach for social justice. An exhibit website for documenting Boston's literary history. An iPhone app for tree identification. A mobile web app for exploring Joyce's novel Ulysses in Dublin. Piloting the lecture capture system for recording and distributing lectures. By rewarding creative and forward-thinking technology projects, the Academic Technology Innovation Grants Program has helped foster a culture of innovation that will continue to bear fruit for years to come.